In this video, I'll demonstrate calculating gauge. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. So calculating gauge is uh, something that every knitter should know how to do. Um, and so it begins with measuring for gauge. I have a swatch here. It really should be a little bit taller, but uh, it is plenty wide enough. It's uh, about six inches wide. It should be five or six inches tall, ideally, for calculating row gauge. What you need to do is you can mark out your columns of stitches or just use your ruler to avoid the selvage edges and measure the widest whole columns of stitches, um, the widest area you can measure. And I'm placing the ruler at the very left edge of one column of stitches and I will measure to the very right edge of another column over on this side. And so I've got five and seven eighths. So I measure to the nearest one eighth of an inch. And I have five and seven eighths. Five point eight seven five. And I need to count the number of stitches in that measure, which is Thirty-two. So to calculate this gauge, then we take the thirty-two stitches and we divide it by the inches, and we get a number. And we want to not round this number. So this is something like this. There's some more digits, but we don't. We don't need to have too many digits after the decimal. Then without rounding this number in our calculator, leave the whole number in the calculator, multiply by four, and then round. And I get 21.78, so that is 22. So this is the number that you can compare to your pattern to see if you're on track and whether you need to size your needle up or size your needle down. This is the number you can use to recalculate any um, stitch counts or shaping rates um, or if you are designing something from scratch. You will use this stitches per inch, not rounded, for any of those kinds of calculations. So again, you measure the widest width you possibly can, whole columns of stitches, and measure to the nearest one eighth of an inch, and then divide those numbers to get your stitches per inch. Don't round that number. And then uh, multiply by four, the unrounded number, and then round up or down according to math rules, to get your stitches over four inches. You would do the exact same steps for row gauge. Avoid the cast on and bind off edge, measure the tallest uh, length you can, count whole rows of stitches, measure that to the nearest one eighth of an inch, and do the exact same calculations. So that's a quick video on how to calculate stitch or row gauge. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.